hey guys welcome back to my beauty channel it's another week and so I have another prom look for you guys because you know it's prom season so I created this glittery red smoky eyes so definitely stick around and watch if you want to see how I created this look it's actually an easier eyeshadow application than the first prom look that I did so this is probably something you want to stick around and watch an eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place as you can see and uh, as I said or as you saw it's a really bold red dramatic look so I'm using that red eyeshadow within that palette to create my transition color and what I'll do to create the intensity I'll keep on packing on the eyeshadow until I feel like I have the color intensity that I want this step actually took some time because I really was going for something that would really stand out and pop so what I kept on doing is just basically adding more of the same color eyeshadow to create the intensity so I'm just packing on eyeshadow and then as you can see I'm diffusing it out as well so I'm packing it on and then I'll diffuse it out so that there isn't really any harsh lines or harsh areas in the eyeshadow Now I'm going in with a burgundy color and because the red is so bright you're not really going to see that I'm putting down a burgundy but I'm sure you can tell that the crease is already getting a bit more darker and don't worry all the products are going to be listed below so remember to read them and check it out so I'm adding a burgundy in the crease area I'm not taking it up on the blue bone but I'm just settling it down in the crease just to give me that smoky look that I want when I apply the red glitter Next, I'm going in with a dark brown eyeshadow. And remember, we are creating a smoky glitter eye, so we really want to work on the crease area to ensure that you know it's dark enough so that when you apply that glitter, it doesn't look as if the glitter is just basically sitting on your eyes. So we are creating some depth and intensity in the crease using now a dark brown eyeshadow. Now I'm simply adding an eyelash glue. You can use any eyelash glue of your choice. And once that is done, I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush and pack the red glitter on her eyes, well on her eyelids. So you guys can definitely let me know what you think. Um, do you realize that the glitter is really meshing really well with the eyeshadow? It doesn't just look as if it's just on the eyelid and that's because I would have created some depth and intensity within the crease. So I'm just packing on the red glitter now and once I'm done packing it on, I'm, I'll go ahead and blend some more eyeshadow on the outer parts of her lid.
so I'm going back in now with my dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just blending out that area where the glitter stops and my crease because we want to ensure that everything just looks seamless you know we don't want it to look as if the glitter is just right there we want to make it look as if you know the glitter has been blended into with your eyeshadow and so I'm just going back in with the dark brown and I'm blending out the ends of her eyelid and also on the eyebrow sorry the eyebrow bone area as well so I'm just loving the glitter I mean red is really not one of my favorite colors when it comes to eyeshadow but I think that this worked out really really well yes So I'm using two foundations on my model today. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Liquid Foundation and the MAC, Ma Ugh, the MAC Match Master Liquid Foundation as well. When blending my foundation, I really like to basically pat it into the skin as opposed to rubbing it down or rubbing it or doing circular motions I prefer to do you know a patting motion to give me that smooth flawless finish guys so guys I've been thinking about doing a makeup workshop a beginner makeup workshop in the summer but let me know if you feel like there is a need for that if you are interested or would like you know for Beats by Zai to do a workshop of that nature definitely hit me up and let me know what you think so I'm going to let my setting powder sit for about two minutes and then I'm going to go in and contour using my covergirl ebony bronzer I'm going to contour her cheekbones and her forehead. Once that's done, I'm going to go in with my powder brush and dust off the excess setting powder and then I'll go in with a compact powder to set the entire face. And this is the finished look guys let me know what you think about this melanin beauty let me know what you think about the smoky red glitter eyes and remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications like share comment and do the most yes continue to support your girl because it's really appreciated here thanks for watching see you next week guys bye